Welcome to Benilde St. Margaret's High School for Section 6 3A Volleyball in the championship round matchup. It is the number two seed, the Hopkins Royals, taking on the number one seed, the Eden Prairie Eagles. I am Jay Wilcox, along with Andy Gugisberg and Andy. Uh, dynamite seasons for both of these teams. They split two regular season meetings, and now they meet with uh, an awful lot at stake. You know, you can't, you can't script something like this. These two teams have battled each other twice during the regular season. All these players know each other from playing over the last few years. It's a big match. One team goes home, the other team gets to punch that ticket to the state tournament. This is why we play all year. Eden Prairie, of course, last year winning it all. They've had a little bit of injury troubles, but uh, you know how healthy they are is kind of might tell a tale a little bit for today, I think. I agree. Uh, setter Maddie Reese is coming back. Um, if she runs the show, this team is a completely different animal. Uh, if they only use her as a defensive player or setting for three rotations, there's going to be some hiccups there. Will Height's coming back. Uh, they got other players that have been plagued on and off all year. This team in rhythm is one of the best teams in the state, though. Hopkins, uh, uh, certainly a good program, but I think they've kind of taken a step up this year. They've been more consistent. They've got experience. They've got talent, and uh, they're kind of looking at this as maybe one their one big shot or one of their big shots to get to that state tournament. I agree wholeheartedly. This is a team that isn't very senior heavy, but the seniors they have make a big difference. Those middles are dynamic players that can definitely do what it takes to take this team, this team down to St. Paul next weekend. We'll talk about a couple of key players to keep an eye on in the match, starting with Hopkins, and uh, their sophomore setter is not only one of the best in this section, not only one of the best in the Twin Cities, but really one of the best in the country. Samantha Seliger Swenson is, uh, is a fabulous player. Samantha is poetry. To watch her run an offense, you forget that she's only a sophomore. I've seen her do things with the ball and make middles just feel ridiculous on the other side of the net. Everything that comes into her hands and out of her hands is fluid. She knows who's hot, she knows who's not, and she finds the right player at the right time to score. She's given a verbal commitment to play for the University of Minnesota and another Big Ten player on the other side of the net and her club teammate, Sarah Wilhite, dynamite hitter on the outside. Wilhite is one of those I'll do it if I if if I, if you need me to players. Will Height has taken over matches. I've been watching high school volleyball with a good coaching eye for probably 10 years. And that match last year in the state final where it was Will Height and Eaton Prairie against Gaynor and Lakeville North is without a doubt my favorite match of all time. Will Height can take over. All she's got to do is get a hittable ball. Hopkins is going to try and slow down some other players. But I don't think you can slow down Will Height. You can't slow down a senior with this much on the line in her what could be her last match as a, as a high school volleyball player. All right, we should have a great championship matchup here. As we said, the winner goes on to state and will be somebody who at the very least has a say in who goes on to win the tournament in Class 3A. It is the Royals and the Eagles from Eden Prairie going at it next. The Section 6 3A Volleyball Championship here on 12 Sports. So many kids' activities today seem to leave out the activity part. New research tells us that just getting children to walk an extra 35 minutes a day could spare them the pain of thinning bones later in life. Encourage your kids to get up, get out, and get moving. Hello. Hey, Grandma, how about another grape soda? A public service message on building strong bones for kids from the Pediatric Orthopedic Society of North America and the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. Just a reminder, kids who participate in high school activities tend to go a little farther than those who don't. Take part. Get set for life. And welcome back here to Benilde as we get set to start the opening. It'll be interesting to see, you know, who gets off to a fast start. I would think a little bit of jitters. I mean, a lot of these players have obviously been in high level matches, whether it be club or high school, but there's a, a big crowd, a loud crowd, and they're very close to you here in this uh, Benil gym. It has to affect the teams a little bit, I would guess. Some kids live in this pressure, some kids fold in this pressure. Everybody on the court for this match is living, ready for everything that's going to happen here. A lot of seniors possibly playing their last match. Going to be a great time for us here tonight. 
There's a look at the starting lineup for the Royals. Erickson, Werner, Reed, Copy, Cornish, Seliger, Swenson, and their libero is Matty Bellotto. And for Eden Prairie, Abby Erke, Sarah Wilhite, Teal, Schwartz, Reese, Moore, and their libero is Karen Cross. Hopkins in black and Eden Prairie in red here. Eden Prairie just coming into this section kind of changed the dynamics of things. For a lot of years, you were looking at Wyzetta or Hopkins more than likely representing the section, not always, but most of the time. And now, of course, Eden Prairie has brought another very strong program into the mix. Definitely gives some depth to the section. Makes it one of those sections where you know you're a top four seed if you make it out. Abby Yerke serving, and we are underway. Pass off target, and point goes up for Eden Prairie as serve receive is uh, something Vicki Swenson talked to us about. Said we're maybe going to take a little step back because teams are really trying to serve the ball deep at us, and we'll see if a little adjustment will help out. Solid block up front by Aaron Schwartz as she denies Reed, and it's 2 nothing Eagles. We see Seliger force the ball a little bit here into a big double block. Down the line and a little too long from Ingrid Werner, and that's Eden Prairie starting it out with a three-zip lead. We talk about upperclassmen, but we got Erky behind the service line, sophomore volleyball player for Eden Prairie, doing a nice job serving tough. And that time Hopkins gets it to Reed, and she's able to put it away with authority, so the Royals on the board. Hopkins, maybe a little bit unusual compared to some teams, is that they're very much a middle-dominated attack. When things are going well for them, they like to attack quick in the middle. You have to, you know, it kind of depends on your personnel, but right now that's where their biggest strength is. You've got a setter like Swenson who can get the ball to the middle at just about any time, as we see right there. She'll come back to Reed, but denied. Will Height getting up to block it for the Eagles, and they go up four to one. Karen Cross will serve here for Eden Prairie. Push deep to the corner and the Eagles will get into their offense. Here comes Will Height and off the tip and down. Five to one EP. If you're Hopkins, you gotta know where Will Height is at all times and at least commit one if not two blockers to her to at least slow her down. And Vicki Swenson's gonna take a quick time out here as a little bit of a sluggish start for her team, and they trail at five to one. We talked early before the match about jitters possibly being a part of it. You look at the serve received for Hopkins, and those players are capable of passing a better ball, giving the ball to Swenson so she can do whatever she wants with it. You see the ball off the net here. Will Height, being creative as she is, is able to find the deep corner. Uh, a player like Will Height is going to take over and is going to find ways to score. End of story. I think she's really improved her variety of shots from when I saw her, in, you know, younger in her career too, and uh, you know, just has a knack for finding the right spot and, and finding the right hit as well. Not everything needs to be power and trying to, you know, overpower a blocker. One of the things Coach Becker talks about a lot is we don't need highlight reel hits; we need points. Period. So you see what Will Height has become. There's a look at Vicki Swenson. Taking two teams to the state tournament. Trying to make it three. Nice block put up that time by Moore. Swenson with the kill off the Reed set. That's not something I expected to see very much of. Noah Reed with a great dish to Swenson, who uh, runs a 5 1, so she doesn't get to swing a whole lot, but taking advantage of that opportunity. Werner serving here with her team down by three points. Will Height off the block. Moore doing a nice job. Uh, she's only been setting this varsity squad for a few weeks since the injury to uh, Reese. 
doing a really nice job. Uh, has played at a high level for a long time as well. So the crowd's a little different, but the level of volleyball is something Elmo is very familiar with. Eagles able to recover after the setter dump there from Swenson. Salisbury with a nice swing. And tipped home by Wilhite. Eden Prairie's been pretty good blocking early in this, and that, as much as anything, has helped them to this 7-2 uh, to lead. Libero does a nice job covering the ball, just doesn't quite keep it off the net. Wilhite's going to take advantage. Good down ball there, put away by Hopkins' Emily Coppy. 7-3. You know, you, you come into this kind of expecting to settle in for a long one, but if you know you do, you also don't want to let that first one get away from you and look up, and all of a sudden the other team's at 20 already, and you feel like you haven't really gotten warmed up yet. To the outside there and into the net from Salisbury, and Eden Prairie will quickly get it back. They have kept Hopkins to one point at a time. Yeah. Swenson talked about winning the serve and pass battle here, and right now they're having a little bit of a tough time with it. Will Height reads that one. Dug up by Bellato. Back row attack violation on the Eagles. They'll pull Hopkins to within four. And Seliger Swenson will serve here. Able to dig that one up, and she'll get a chance as a hitter here. Eden Prairie scrambling, and they get it done. Karen Cross digging it up, and they were just able to work hard, tip that ball over, and Hopkins a little overcommitted there. Moore does a nice job of beating this ball to the net and just putting up something high enough for the hitter to take a swing. Schultz back to serve. Left side with it. And that one's too strong from Emily Coppy. Eagles into double digits now at 10 to 4. Warner with a nice pass here. And denied at the net as Aaron Schwartz had the timing perfectly. Hopkins went soft with it, and Schwartz. Schwartz closes pay. really well here. Really nice closer, and Lisa put up a great block, reading that tip and stretching over the net. Well, I'm talking with Chad Becker, the uh, Eagles coach. You know, a lot of times coaches, you always find something you didn't like or whatever. But when I asked him about the Minnetonka match in the semis, he said that was about as well as we played all year. We were. Pretty, cr pretty clean, pretty crisp with most aspects of our game. So obviously you're hoping for his, uh, he's hoping that that carries into today and it looks like it so far. You know, he talked last year after his state championship run about how he had an entire team that believed in the system he was trying to put into place. As you watch the Eagles play now, yeah, it's the Will Height show, but the rest of those players all know their role and all know exactly what they need to do in order to help this team punch that ticket to the Excel Center. Moving very well right now, blocking well. They've served well. There's a look at Chad, his 17th year with the program, seventh as head coach for Eden Prairie. And uh, like most sports at that school, it's become a very high level program. There are not a lot of things where they're not one of the best in. Good pass this time. They go outside to Salisbury, but that one uh, missed fire as she. Looked like it caught her up on the wrist a little bit. And yeah. Salisbury was expecting a, a faster ball there, it looked like. Camille Schultz continuing to serve here for EP with an eight-point advantage. They'll come right back to Salisbury. This time gets it done cross court. And that shows a lot of confidence. And uh, you know, you come right back to somebody where they'd had the, the previous one didn't work out so well. Say, okay, here's what we're gonna do, and they did it. And Salisbury as a senior really, really needs that confidence. Uh, the fact that Seliger will go to her over and over after an error, that's trusting your hitters. That goes a long way. Dug up there by Swenton. Now she'll get 
hands and knocks it over. Solid block by Coffey. And another good block. Hopkins maybe will get themselves started with some D here, and there's a good dig. Coffey called for the lift on a change of direction play out of the middle. It's rare you see that call. Coffey gets herself available, and yeah, there's a little bit of change of direction there. So Eden Prairie getting the side out here 13-5 now. And too strong with it was Werner to the left side. Hopkins has been looking to go deep with those balls and a little long. Maddie Reese, who set this team at a 5-1 last year, all the way through the state championship, uh, after a injury, is kind of reserved to a DS role here and filling the role very nicely. Back they come, Swenson with a swing. And off the block and put away there by Hannah Redman. Redman goes up, sees a strong block, goes a little off speed, throws it off the right hand. That's a smart play by a smart hitter. Redman's going to go to the South Dakota School of Mines to play volleyball. Big scramble, and they end up colliding. And no way to get to that one anymore. One of the few times that Eden Prairie's maybe, well, I mean, it's great hustle, but maybe reaching where they didn't need to there as Karen Cross probably was going to be able to play that ball. Pass off target here, and they'll have to send it over. Off the block and put away by Werner. Werner had a pretty big match in the, when they beat Eden Prairie during the regular season, so they're looking to get her established a little bit. She's had a couple of misfires, but this time wipes it off the block. Really good tempo set by Swenson to beat that middle. And Swenson will get a kill here. Every time Swenson takes the first ball, they find a way to get it back to her. She's come up with two or three big kills already in this first set. Hoppy serving for Hopkins. They've been trailing throughout. And Eden Prairie rotation there, it looks like. So they give one away there, and Hopkins to within six. Moore was apparently off the court when the whistle was blown, when the ball was played. Will Height able to drop it in. Gets it back, and again, that's I talked about that earlier. That's one thing they've done quite well is just limiting Hopkins from getting momentum going. Just when you, every time they get a point here or there, and you start to think they're creeping back in it, they are able to side out. Erky serving here for Eden Prairie, and it's good. Hopkins electing to let it go. Cornish. It's another thing where you talk about the, the noise level in this gym. I think communication might be might be slowed a little bit because of that. And then that ball did definitely appear to be in. Right side with it this time, and Audrey Erickson smokes it home for Hopkins. Bellotto will serve here, down by seven. And Will Height able to get it done here for Eden Prairie. Will Height has an uncanny ability to take a broken play like that. You see her here, she's off balance, she's jumping almost backwards and still finds a way to get that ball to the floor. A little hang time too, and it enables you to Cross up the timing a little bit, and there's Reed, the quick set, and where they were right on schedule there as Reed hammers it home. Swenson is such a dynamic attacker that you have to respect her when she jumps on that ball, leaving one on none for Reed. Winner to serve. Hopkins, though, can't afford to trade points anymore as they're still down seven. And Will Height. Delivers for Eden Prairie, and they get it right back. 19-11 Eagles. 
We talked with Swenson before the match. Coach Swenson said, Will Height's gonna get hers, and there is Will Height getting one of hers. They'll come to Reed, and able to put it down. Coach Becker talked about, he said, we we're pretty decent blockers, but it's it's how well we read things. If we're, if we, if we're not ready, if we're not in time, we're not reading the play correctly on Royal Reed, especially, then we're gonna be in trouble. Reed getting it done from the net, and now from behind this service line as well. They're within six. Reed, another tough serve. Eagles scramble, though, and get it over, and Will Height will get the job done. And there you say, broken play. It was some great hustle to dig that one up. That was, by all accounts, a point that Hopkins probably thought they were going to get, and it turns out they didn't. Moore does a great job of staying with the play, bringing a ball back for Will Height to put in. Strong serve there, and they have to fight it off, and Hopkins will send a free ball over here. Karen Cross. And to the middle they come, Reed digging that up. Outside to Salisbury. Little cut shot there, now the Eagles. Oh, I guess it was blocked. And Reed not able to dig it up. I kind of thought Eden Prairie's ball had gone on the tape. And both officials consult with each other and both agree, yes, it was a block. So 21-13, another key point goes Eden Prairie's way. They have led throughout this first one. Swenson dumping it over, but the Eagles ready. Down the line and good. Hannah Redman with the kill for Eden Prairie, and they continue to perform well. The book on Redmond coming into this match was she hits a lot of cross, a lot of cross, and then more cross. She's picked up another shot here, burying some balls down the line. Skims off the net, but good hands there by Werner. Copy a strong hit, but they dig it up. Back to back digs by Werner. Now outside for Salisbury, but too strong with that one. Point for Eden Prairie. You know, as we watch this game develop, I think every long point has gone Eden Prairie's way. They're in a fight, they're in a fight. They find a way to get that point every time we're in a long rally here. Cross court and put away. Copy. Strong hit for Hopkins there, but their trail by nine. Their margin for error is gone. Swenson will serve here. I've seen Swenson go on runs and many times in her club career. We'll see if she's got one in her now. Cut cross court there, and the kill recorded for Redmond. And now they're to within a point of putting this first one away. Redmond has elevated her game to a whole nother level this postseason. Real fun to watch her at this point in the game. Back out to Salisbury. Dug up, and it's going to land wide, so Hopkins survives for the time being. 24 to 15. Cornish back to serve here. To the middle, but too strong there. The timing a little off, and Schwartz was way long with that one. And it's 24 16. Swenson digging that one up, and they'll go to her outside, and Karen Cross able to pull it off the floor. Now Redman up in the ceiling. They battle to stay with it and do. Outside, back for Redman. That one might have been close to going out, but they play it. And then off the block and put away. The left-hander, Hallstrand, will get the kill, and Eden Prairie takes the first one, 25 to 16. Hopkins not able to battle back. We'll be back with our second here. Section 6, 3A championship. Round one goes to Eden Prairie.
Listen to smoke before you give it a try. Only you. Don't play with matches. Don't play with fire. Only you can prevent wildfires. Fire. An 18 year old has been charged with a shooting that critically injured another person. Last week, one of the vehicles disappeared from this lot in plain sight. The ultimate goal is to develop an app that gives the visually impaired turn by turn directions. Event organizers say many of the fences here were about 20 years old and were in need of replacing. Hits this one well out to left field, and that one's going to be in for a hit. It bounces to the fence, a run scores. And welcome back to Benilde St. Margaret High School, along with Andy Gugas program, Jay Wilcox. 25 16 Eden Prairie over Hopkins. The first set here, and uh, we'll take a look at. Last point of the opening one. Moore does a good job here mixing the ball up, going all over the place with it. We see again, Swenson takes the first ball, she gets it back. Good dig, we keep it off the net, we keep playing. That's one of Chad's big rules. Same thing here, good play off the ceiling, able to stay with it. Wilhite steps in, takes the ball. Redmond comes up with a nice off-speed shot to keep Hopkins out of system. Got a nice run through by Wilhite here, and here's the ender. Using the block very well. Lisa does a nice job keeping the ball out in front of her, seeing what's going on in front of her, and taking advantage. Lisa had a concussion earlier this year. It was happened in the match against Hopkins that uh, Eden Prairie did not win. And so obviously good that you're able to get a player back and you, you, you know, feel good that they're able to bounce back from something like that and also obviously a valuable weapon out there. And I always feel like even though you know she's left handed it still kind of throws you when she comes up with a left hand swing. There's Will Height starting the second with a nice kill. Block takes away line and that left back digger doesn't quite get deep enough into the court in order to take away that shot. Jamie Karen Cross serving here for Eden Prairie. Dug up by Reese and it was clean that kept it alive. That's what we're talking about. Swenson's able to hold the ball just long enough to get that middle from Eden Carey to kick out here. And she reverses the ball nicely. Erickson's able to find that seam. To the outside for Will Hyde off the block. Nice dig and they get it over and it'll result in a point. Those are the type of points that almost always went against Hopkins in the first one. Now they're hoping, you know, you, so, like you said in the first one, Andy, it's not always about the pretty ones. Sometimes those kind of points are what you need to, to prevail on a match too. Those are the momentum points, those long rallies that you know you put in the work for the last two and a half months to win. Will Hyatt tapping that one off the block. It's got to be interesting when you have players that know each other so well going against each other. You know, they're teammates for a good chunk of the year, but then in high school going against each other, they kind of try to outguess each other a little bit in terms of, you know, they, they know whatever what each other's favorite shots are and everything. I think my favorite part of a high school match is when one club teammate goes against the other one and they just get that sly grin after a point is scored. Werner will serve here for Hopkins. They lead it three to two early in the second. To the middle and Will Height that time they're able to get a piece of it. Out to Sarah and she'll put it away cross court. Hopkins makes the adjustment they didn't make on Will Height's first point. She hits whatever's open. They move that left back digger a little deeper and they hit where she was. Wilhite sees the court so well. She's so high above the net. Good set, good location, big finish. She seems to have the ability to play quick, but also very much under control, too. I mean, it, 
it isn't as though she's scrambling to figure out where am I going to hit this ball or anything. She just kind of calmly goes up and then puts it away with authority. A pretty effortless ball, but you don't realize the hard work she's put in to look that effortless. Hopkins able to recover after that overpass. And the Royals into the net. So a point for Eden Prairie even before Hulstrand is getting to take that swing. Reed's aggressive on the block, gets over, closes nicely, and just gets a little too excited there, reaching a little too far, catching that net. And a misfire there is Erickson trying to cut that one and glance off the side of her hand. So EP now up by three points. That serve receive battle. If the Hopkins Royals can get behind that ball and get it up into Swenson's hands, we're going to be good. There it was. Oh, nice block by Eden Perry. And another. Hallstrand with the block there. Or perhaps that was Teal. But anyway, nice job by Eden Prairie. They go up 7-3, to three and Hopkins is going to use a timeout. You know, one of the big discussions, as I've talked with other coaches throughout the season, is what do you do when you play Eden Prairie? And the big resounding answer is understand Will Height's going to score hers in the front row. When she's in the back row, you have to play error-free volleyball. We got Will Height in the back row serving, and we've had three or four hitting errors by the Royals. Look at how things have shaped up here in section six. And really, uh, all four of the top four that made it to the semifinals have pretty much been in the top 10 all year long. So you, you had some, some real quality teams that make that final four up in Eden Prairie. Played very well beating Minnetonka, a very good team in the fourth seed spot. And then Hopkins Wyzetta has been a rivalry. And, and to be honest about it, been a been a Wyzetta leaning rivalry for the most part over these last several years, but uh, not this year. Hopkins able to come out and take care of business after they'd split with them during the season. I think you put any four of those teams in about half the sections in the state and they win it running away. But the way the state sets it up, one team out of these four is going to make it. Now we're down to two. Salisbury deep to the corner. Ooh. That must have missed wide. Yeah, uh, it was lengthwise. It was good. Will Height. Our Will angle hit. here makes it tough. Reed sending it over. Redmond cutting it across. Salisbury digging that one up. Swenson will send it over. Even Perry got a little bunched up there. Almost let that one drop. Swenson a block. Redmond will go again, tipping over. Salisbury diving. Karen Cross digs it up. Here's one of those long points. Who's going to take it? Copy doing a great job in the back row. Karen Cross right on target with that pass. And to the outside and another strong dig. Can't be out of the back row again. And finally, it's Hopkins taking that point. And there you said, momentum point. The crowd roared on that one a lot more than just any average point in this match. Just heart and desire and fight. And neither team wanted to lose that point. I love the fact that we went to copy twice in the back row there. Big swings. Here's Reed serving for Hopkins, but air mails it out by a couple feet. And any momentum they built from that previous point kind of sails out of bounds with that ball. Different coaches have different rules about when it's okay and not to miss a serve. That is on just about every coach's list of we don't want to miss in that situation. Uh, Reed going for a point, wanting to help her team out, but just kind of checked out a little bit. Schultz serving here for Eden Prairie. And Swenson able to put that one away. Schultz with some good hustle to try and get a good second touch on that. Just didn't happen. And Swenson will serve here, her team down by four. Tipped over, good recovery. And it 
Yeah, coming over the net there was uh, Hallstrand. Chad Becker doesn't agree. It's always a tight call, that ball in the plane. Did it get there or it was Lisa just a little fast? Section final time, everybody's excited. And pounded home by Redmond. She's kind of gone with a variety, sometimes cross court, sometimes off speed. That time it was full speed ahead. Sees that line, just unloads on a ball. Swenson's in the right spot, doesn't quite get her arms away fast enough in order to dig that ball and keep it on her side. That was almost a case where you consider it a change up from her previous hits, even though it was yeah. the, 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 the fastball, so to speak. Net violation on Eden Prairie there gives Hopkins another point. Cornish serving. Hopkins to within three. Lost the first in fairly convincing fashion. I think important for them. This kind of a crucial second set here, and they get the point here, and Hopkins now to within two. Tight ball. Swenson again goes up tight. We got a one-on-one. -on -one. It's going to be very difficult for Eden Prairie's middles to keep up one-on-one. -on -one. Eden Prairie is going to use the timeout here as they still hold the lead, but it's now been trimmed to 10 8 after they had started the second one, kind of somewhat where they picked up or where they left off in the first, where they had just kind of started to take command a little bit. But right now, Hopkins battling back and right, right there on the doorstep. You know, we're in a situation here where Hopkins is able to get the middles the ball, good things happen. Uh, when Eden Prairie is serving tough, they aren't able to get those middles involved as much. It's a lot easier game for Eden Prairie to play when they have to dig the outsides compared to the middles. Those dynamic middles from Hopkins are making a big difference right here. Hopkins Off serving out of the timeout here with Cornish. I look for Wilhite to get this ball here. Even though she's in the back row, I still see her getting some set out of this serve receive. And too strong from Redmond. Hopkins to within a point. Redmond has a good idea here, trying to go down that line again. That's worked so well for her a couple times. That violation there on the EP, so we're even up now at 10 apiece. Cornish right back to it, but too long with that one, and Eden Ferry back in front. Nice serving run by Cornish there, going for it, going for it, going for it, you know. Eventually, bit bad thing can happen there, but we'll see how they recover. Erky the serve now for Eden Ferry. And it's an ace. After the serving error, a lot of coaches will go after that passer if she's in serve receive, and that's exactly what Erky does here. Struggle with that one as well, but get it over. Now to Will Height. Cross court with that, and it is good. Very efficient. You're not seeing her. Not often that she sprays balls all over the place either, where sometimes, occasionally, you see people who can draw the oohs and ahs, but aren't as, uh, aren't as sharp when they're trying to do different things. But she seems to be pretty good at all of her shots. Karen Cross getting to it. Can they keep it alive? Yes, great effort by a couple of their Moore and Karen Cross. But. Hopkins still gets the point ultimately anyway as Ingrid Werner gets the kill for Hopkins. You forget how young some of these players are. I mean, Swenson's been on the team since she was a seventh grader, been running the show for a while here. But Werner coming in, doing a great job as a sophomore. Erickson a sophomore. On the other side, Erky, Moore, sophomores. A lot of young talent on the gym right now. Skips off the block and Hopkins Back to within a point now at 13 to 12. Unlike in that first set, they've been able to answer and keep Eden Prairie from pulling away. A 
adjustment oh, made. You watch Reed come inside. The set is inside. That's a great block. Like that look on Will Height's face, like, yeah, I got the next one. Give me another chance. Another big block there from Reed. And then Will Height is able to put that one away. You're going to say when they got that block on Will Height for Hopkins, it feels like two blocks instead of one when it happens against Sarah Will Height. But she didn't let it bother her, came back with a point. She wasn't Gatorade player of the state of Minnesota last year for nothing. Swenson to Reed and Reese able to dig it up. Will Height now uh, bounce off the ceiling. They'll scramble and get it over. Little ping pong here. <laughs> off the net and good as Poppy will get the point. Reed demands so much attention in the front row that both the middle and left side blocker were only paying attention to her. Didn't see Copy coming over out of the back row. Great set by Swenson. Good delivery by Copy. Hopkins serving to take the lead. Swenson dumping it over. Eagles recover. Strong block put up. They'll try again from the outside. Reese may be stepping into somebody else's ball there, but they'll get it over. Reed tipping over the block. Smarter, not harder. So Reed gives Hopkins the lead back with this point. They keep Erky about 15 feet off. She's a little deeper than she probably should be. Reed sees it and tips right at the 10 foot line there. Swenson will come across. There's Karen Cross with a solid dig, and now Will Height gets a swing. The Royals get to it. Strong block, but Hopkins getting back into position. Off the ceiling. Ooh, and <laughs> Reese able to recover. Reese with a big dig there. Will Height pounding it, but it's going to drop in. Well, Hopkins will take it any way to get it. Werner had that one eat her up, but it lands in the court. Will Height absolutely unloads on this ball. Werner's out of position, throws her arms in the right spot. Hey, any way, any time. Hopkins in front, 16-14. The little things, those kind of points were definitely not going their way in the first one. And now on occasion, they've been able to get it done in the second one. So 16, 14 kind of little, maybe the first bit of adversity for Eden Prairie, really, this last stretch of points here. There were they, for the first time, have had to, you know, kind of start to scramble a little bit, start to worry it just a little bit. Here's where that senior leadership's gonna come in. You got Reese, you got Karen Cross, you got Will Height on the floor at all times. They're gonna make sure that everybody around them is calm. This is this is this is the show for these kids, you know? You look at the student sections here in full effect. Eden Prairie brought a band. It's exciting time of year. We're gonna see what happens off this timeout. Look for a very calm demeanor coming off this timeout from the Eagles where Hopkins is gonna come the other way. They got all the energy, they got all the momentum, they got the crowd behind them. Very exciting right here. Bilotto serving for Hopkins, leading by two points after Eden Prairie won the first set. Will Height cross court with it off the net, but wide. And now the Royals go up by three. You look at Swenson and Reed, you look at their eyes as they're watching Will Height here. They're looking at her approach angle and adjusting on the fly. Very good blocking scheme by the Hopkins Royals. Will Height gets a swing out of the free ball there as Bellotto couldn't control that pass. And it's a two point game now. And Eden Prairie at the service line will be Elizabeth Moore. Will Height denying Reed there. Second try though, Reed. A little left hand tip. Went up, adjusted, and just tipped that around the block. 
Tight ball, one blocker. Wilhite had gone up to make sure Swenson wasn't going to dump and wasn't able to get off and be productive in the digging realm there. And blocked there as it looked like Holstrand couldn't really make up her mind what she was going to do. It's a tough angle for a lefty. It's very rare that they swing on the left pin, and ball is a little inside for her. She'll get a better swing here. Went into Reed and puts it away, and Hopkins hits that 20 mark. They're up by five and looking very good here in this second one. 20 to 15 Royals. And the next side out puts Wilhite in the back row, where unless her serve can do some damage, Eden Prairie could be in trouble. Werner too strong with that serve. And here's where if you're Eden Prairie, Obviously, you don't want to panic, but you also you don't want to have it in the back of your mind that well we were already up one. You, you want to treat this one as all of them as do or die. Salisbury tipping to the outside. Let's see, was there a touch on that ball? There was. So Hopkins gets the point. With some disagreement from the coaching staff. Says Swenson definitely saw a touch, and Becker didn't think anybody was near it. And that one's going to drop in a late try on the dive, but Eagles to within four. Werner saw that tip just a little too late, was about a half a step away from where she needed to be in order to make that play. Schultz will serve here for Eden Prairie. Cross court and good. Hopkins hitting on all cylinders right now as Coppy puts it away. Copy listed as a middle, but has done a lot of damage on the left side, as we see right here. She gets up, she sees the cross-court ball available. Redmond sucked in a little bit too much on tip coverage. A block leads to the point here for Hopkins, and they are up 23-17. Starting to feel kind of inevitable here that they're going to even things up. Swenson able to dig that one up. She'll get a chance as a hitter here. Karen Cross has to send it over. And that pass a little off target, so Eden Prairie staying in it anyway at 23-18. Reese serving here for Eden Prairie. No block for contact called. A little hard to hear that. I thought I heard a whistle, but I wasn't certain there. It's a little hard to pick it up for sure in here in this uh, loud, loud gym. Great recovery. Karen Cross and Wilhite combined to get it over. Huh. Double contact is the call on Moore's set. Hmm. So Hopkins a chance to even it up. Swenson into the outside with it, and it was tipped. Werner will get the kill as Hopkins wins it 25 to 19. We're now even up at one apiece as we head to the third here. Section 6-3A Volleyball Championship. Continuing in a moment here on 12 Sports. Two, three, six. This isn't Madison Square Garden. These drills probably won't make anyone a number one draft pick. But these players are practicing for something important. While they work on their jump shots, they're also learning teamwork, discipline, self-confidence, how to deal with wins and losses. Skills that will make them winners long after they leave the court. Support high school activities in your community. Because when kids take part, they get set for life. 
If you could see anything in the world, what would it be? I'd love to see Paris. I like to see cupcakes falling from the sky. To save your vision in the years ahead, call your eye doctor for a comprehensive eye exam today. Then call 1-800-437-2423 or log on to seeabettertomorrow.org to learn about glaucoma and macular degeneration. I just want to see more of the things I love. After a little bit of a slow start on the first one, Hopkins rallying back strong to win game number 225 to 19. We're even up at one apiece here heading into the third. And uh, Andy, what what kind of adjustments did you feel the Royals made? What, what helped to win that one for them? They moved their feet a little bit earlier on serve receive. They were able to adjust the block on Will Height and they were able to make sure that the middles were hitting dynamically. It wasn't just a B, it wasn't just a quick set. They were moving it around and Swenson is now setting what I would like to almost call a gap set. It's not right next to her, but it's not quite far enough away that we would call it a 31 or an A set. She's looking at where the block is set up and going someplace different. It's a really, really nice adjustment. Abby Erke will serve to start the third here for Eden Prairie. Reed tipping to the middle, Eagles scramble, and we'll get it over. Off the block and wide, first point goes up for Hopkins. We kind of forget now that in that second set, Eden Curry started out, you know, almost like they, almost as strong as they had in the first, and there was a little bit of time early in that one where it looked like they might, you know, just kind of pull away again, but. Obviously that didn't happen. Hopkins came back strong and now they get an ace here as the Eagles don't play a ball that uh, they should have. You see the look on Bellato's face there and uh, just smooth, calm, wanting the ball. Good stuff. Tipped over. Swenson will come to Reed in the middle and denied that time by Schwartz. Eden Prairie blocked very well in the opening one, not quite as much in set number two. Reed catching that ball on the way down. If she catches it on the way up, I think she beats that block, but she wasn't quite ready for that set. Good job by Swenson to force the middle. Another miscue by Eden Prairie. Something they had very little of in that uh, first win. But now trailing 3-1 here early in the third as Hopkins trying to keep that momentum. And Werner getting it done. Four to one Hopkins. Outside for Will Height, and she puts it home for the Eagles. Not a bad place to go when you're on the on the struggling a little bit. See Will Height here seeing that cross court ball. It's right in that scene between Salisbury and Werner. Good spot, good deep sideline shot. Moore serving here for the Eagles. Net violation on Eden Prairie, so Hopkins will get kind of a free point there. Up five to two. Reed serving for Hopkins. Swenson will dump it over. The Eagles get to it. Salisbury going down the line and was there a touch in that ball? And apparently not. Hopkins thought so, but it'll be EP's point. Misfire by Salisbury. I think Moore wanted it. She just didn't get her arm out there fast enough. Wait, if you go get Off the block and put away. So a six to three advantage. Swenson serving here for Hopkins. Royals have to scramble, tough ball and out. 
Salisbury can pull that one back inside the antenna there. And Eden Prairie to within two. Schultz serving now for the Eagles. And Hallstrand able to get the kill for Eden Prairie. They're back to within one now at 6-5. She's not what you would call a go-to player, but when they go to her, she seems to be doing really well. Maybe we need to change that. Maybe she should become one. And Hopkins getting a little bit fortunate there as that ball crawls over the net and leads to a lift call. So a two-point advantage for the Royals. Ball trickles over, Schwartz is ready to block, comes down, has a little mishandle there. And an overpass there, and Schwartz did a good job of not getting too over eager. You see a lot of times people's eyes light up and they either get into the net or, or they uh, do something more than they need to there, and she just calmly put that one away. Elevated very nicely, had a couple opportunities to do some different things and puts that one away. Down the line with a pretty well disguised by Werner as she took a kind of a three-quarter swing on that one and turning it to the outside. Dug up by Copy. And a misfire by Redmond, and Hopkins stretches the lead back to three. Redmond out of system there, just wants to put that ball high and deep and put the other team under duress, and she tries to do a little too much. Eagles not looking as sharp as he did earlier in the match. Hopkins now up 10 to six. And a timeout taken by Coach Becker. Moore does a nice job there at jump setting, drawing the left side blocker with her, and Schwartz puts that ball right into the middle blocker's hands. Reed just standing there waiting for that shot. And these teams split during the regular season. Hopkins handed Eden Prairie its first late conference loss at the time that they were able to beat them fairly late in the, in the season on the 9th of October. But then they turned around and were swept by Minnetonka. <laughs> that's, you don't celebrate a win very long in the late conference uh, volleyball wars, that's for sure. After that win, they uh, were actually rated in prepvolleyball.com's top 100 for all of about two days. Uh, John Tawa, who runs that website, actually interviewed Coach Swenson and said, Coach Swenson said, you can't rest on your laurels here. And, Two days later, I believe it was, she was tested, that is for sure. Uh, both teams have fought, 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 gotten us to this point. We are now in the middle of set three here. This is anybody's match still. Copy will serve. And point there for Hopkins. Reed putting it down on the... Eagles into the net. Redmond swinging away that time and gets the kill for Eden Prairie there. Kind of in a little danger spot right now where things haven't been going their way of late. They're not way behind or anything, but the, the trend certainly isn't in their favor. Able to sneak that one through the block was Werner. Hopkins by five as Bellotto will serve. Well, just long copy 
Well, on going to her knees there, decided to let that one go, and it turned out to be a wise decision. Great serve there by Bellotto. Nearly got an ace out of it. Pushed deep to the corner. Karen Cross getting to it, though. Swenson will come to Reed off the block. Swenson getting up to block that one. Another try by Will Height, and Cornish gets to it. Once again, a dig for Cornish. And Reed able to put it away on Hopkins bench, and fans really pumped up because they realized what a good point that was for their team. Cornish leads this play. You won't see it in the stat book. She'll get those two digs. But if Cornish isn't in the right spot two to three times during that play, Eden Prairie earns that point. Bellotto digging it up. Good block there by Moore. Now Reed. Karen Cross getting to it. And smoked home by Ingrid Werner. 15-7. Hopkins pulling away here in the third set. To the outside for Wilhite, this time tipping over the block and gets the side out back for Eden Prairie. And it's, uh, it's time for them, if they're going to have a chance in this third set, I think they've got to get going right now. We're going to need some transition digs, digs and kills here in order for uh, Eden Prairie to come back. Down the line, and they won't get to that one. So Eden Prairie with Will Height getting a couple back to back here. Karen Cross to serve here for the Eagles. Back over to Will Height. Bellotto able to fight that one off. And going to be too strong off the right hand there of Copy. And Eden Prairie into double figures now. Still trailing by five. You see their fans not quite jacked up yet, but they're hopeful that they're able to creep, away, creep into that lead. Good coverage, Cornish on the bump set. Karen Cross, Cross didn't give up on that one. And they'll get it over. Boy, I was ready to call that one a point. And then Wilhite eventually blocks Reed, and now Eden Prairie showing the most emotion than they've shown on any point, and rightfully so. Karen Cross just didn't give up. Great hustle, good fight, and the big block. As you look at Eden Prairie's bench after that point, after that block at the floor, everybody but Becker erupted almost onto the court. That's what this team needs. This team needs that energy, that emotion. Big block for Eden Prairie after great hustle. One thing that all of these players on both sides of the court have been playing with is, until you hear a whistle, you go. There hasn't been one point where somebody stopped a step short. It is fun volleyball to watch. For those of you that weren't able to be here live, you are getting a show on the rebroadcast. Karen Cross just not ever conceding any ball and she goes she gets to the floor so quickly it's second nature for her to be able to to go to the court and, and uh, take those balls up and that was a heck of a play she's so comfortable going either way as well you watch her she moves really well to the right just as well to the left and she's not looking for a ball that needs to necessarily get up directly to the center she just wants to keep that ball off the floor give her team another chance for another contact well, can they use the momentum from that point to continue to cut into Hopkins' lead, or the Royals are going to get it right back? It's the Royals' turn. Nora Reed with the kill for Hopkins, and they 
get a, an important point for their sake out of the timeout. Puts them up by five, yes, but it also kind of quiets that little momentum that Eden Prairie had built. Will Height firing and Lotto didn't get the pass all the way up, although it still seemed like a ball that they might be able to get to. It looked like there was a little bit of communication error there between, I believe it was uh, Coffey and Swenson. So more serving here for Eden Prairie. They go to Reed off the block, and Eagles cannot recover off that ball off the net. So five-point lead again now for Hopkins. Reed serving. Too long at that one. Will Height getting set to serve here for Eden Prairie. Salisbury smoking at home off the set from Swenson. Back to Faye. That's a wrinkle we haven't seen this entire match. Salisbury in the middle. Swenson takes a look, realizes that Eden Prairie hadn't seen it either and gets her the ball. Swenson serving. Is that out of system swing we needed from Redmond earlier. Puts that ball in play, giving her team an opportunity, and sure enough, converts into a Eden Prairie Eagle point. They're back to within four. Schultz in the serve here now for Eden Prairie. Salisbury off the tape and it crawls over and Hopkins will take it. 1914 Royals. Cornish at the service line here for Hopkins. Tough serve there. King Cross fights it off. And then Will Height. He tried to block that one. Tough. Just the timing wasn't quite there. Will Height out of the back row is one of the two most dynamic players in the state of Minnesota this year. She's able to find ways to score. Right there, we saw the block go up a little bit late, and she found hands, was able to kind of wipe it off. Karen Cross, another big dig for the Eagles. And then we have a net violation against Hopkins, so score the point for Eden Prairie, and they have trimmed that lead to three. Maddie Reese to serve again here for EP. Wipe to the outside, but wide. Two point lead now for Hopkins. Werner tried to push that deep line, had the right back digger moving up, and Karen Cross in the middle hadn't quite shuffled over. Aaron Cross, another dig there. Here's Will Height with a down ball there, and they're able to track it down and get it over. Redmond sprays it way wide cross court. Crucial point for Hopkins. They get a 20 to 17 lead. Both sides here working hard for every point, playing hard, playing fast. Redmond changes speed on that one. Will Height off the net. Swenson right there and ready, and she'll get a swing. Will Height digs her. And then put away by Redmond and Eden Prairie. Back to within two now at 20 to 18. Well, we mentioned that not only have they played each other, any, but they, they both played, you know, real difficult schedules. So being behind. You don't like it, but it isn't the first time it's happened all year, and, and I, I think that helps to have played that kind of competition where you're playing teams that are as good as you on some nights. Reed, 
And a great recovery by Eden Prairie to get that ball over. Swing denied, they'll go back outside. Eagles almost didn't get to that one, but then Wilhite puts it away off the block. They're back within one. Nice long rally, Wilhite sees the cross court, drops that thumb to go cut hard. Reed reaches out, gets a touch on the ball, but not enough to keep it on the Eden Prairie side. Erky serving our team down by one. And off the block, and Werner gets the kill for Hopkins. They lead 21-19. Nice swing by Werner there, seeing that the set was a little tight, drops the elbow, throws it off hands. Pilato. Pass tight to the net there, but Hopkins, good recovery. And Wilhite able to put that one away, and Eden Prairie back within one now at 21-20. Reed steps out, the set is a little inside, there is no block adjustment made, Wilhite's gonna take advantage. And Wilhite able to block that one, and we're even up now at 21 points apiece. Karen Cross will not serve right now. Hopkins going to use a timeout. Boy, Eden Prairie kind of coming off the deck a little bit here. They were, but uh, things weren't looking all that good for them midway through this second. And uh, obviously now it's anybody's second set here, or third set. I'm sorry. It goes back to that long rally where Karen Cross laid out, Moore threw her body for a ball, Wilhite sent it over, and Wilhite ended the point with a block. You go back to that point, that is the momentum swing in this set. We'll see what happens off this timeout. I'm sure Swenson is telling her team, listen, it's a new game. We played a four right now. We don't worry about what happened to get to this point. We worry about the next four. On the other side, Becker is definitely telling his girls we've got the momentum, we've outscored them, and Becker knows his stats inside and out. It'll probably be 12 to six, or whatever those numbers are, in order to get her, his players going right now. We're gonna see what happens with this serve. Look for something deep, keeping Swenson off the net so she can't get the ball to Reed. If the ball is in system, Reed will get set here. Karen Cross serving. Pushed over and then Eden Prairie almost wasn't ready. Swenson will come to Reed and there it is. Just as you called it, 22-21 Hopkins. Reed's so good late in the season at staying off the net, getting in every time and seeing the block in front of her and hitting around it. Ingrid Werner serving, Royals up by a point. Will Height able to get it done once again here, 22-22. The Royals hadn't even served the ball, and Swenson and Reed were standing in front of Will Height. It doesn't matter with a player of Will Height's ability. She'll see that double block, and she'll go around it. Moore serves for the Eagles. Here's Reed. Double contact there on EP, and it's 23-22, Hopkins. Reed to serve. Wilhite had it denied, but they sweep it over. Battle at the net. Salisbury rolling it to the middle. Big scramble and Eaton Prairie able to get it over. Great read by Moore. Too long off the hip from Hallstram. And Hopkins takes an emotional point, 24-22. Dumped by Swenson, read perfectly by Moore. Lisa sees the deep court open and just misses. Wilhite had a block. Karen Cross pulls it up. And this time Wilhite able to 
Get it off the inner hands of that block. So 24-23, Eagles still alive. Subbing in now for Hopkins, Justine Walker. Heck of a time to step on the court for the first time. Will Height serves. Copy's getting the ball. Had it denied, and Hopkins can't recover. We're even at 24. Here's where having played teams really comes into effect. You're not surprising anybody here. One of two things is going to happen. Copy's either going to get this ball or Swenson's going to dump it. And just to prove me wrong, Salisbury with the hit and Teal with the block for Eden Prairie. They go up by one. Reed will come back in for Walker. A little stall tactic here by Coach Swenson. Will Height serving. Swenson to copy. Cross court with it, and it's good. And we're even at 25. Swenson to serve. And a serving error will put Eden Prairie back in front. Schultz. Outside to copy. Block, the Eagles recover. Swenson will push it over. And they sneak it through the block as Hallstrand gets the kill. And Eden Prairie wins the third, 27 to 25. Doesn't get much better than that. We'll be back with our fourth game here on 12 Sports. Eden Prairie now up two to one. Life in the oceans depends on you. Do your part to keep them clean. Recycle and dispose of trash properly. To learn what you can do, go to keepoceansclean.org. National studies show that students who participate in activities like music, sports, and drama not only have better grades and attendance, but they develop the character to handle adversity, the grace to accept defeat, and the self-confidence to start over. Take part. Get set for life. Here's a look at how our third at the end of the year, and Vanilda is getting the kill. They're sneaking it through the block. There was Lisa Holstrand, the left-hander, hitting from the right side for Eden Prairie. And uh, I have to admit, you know, maybe three quarters of the way through that one, Andy, I, I really didn't think that Eden Prairie was going to be able to come back. You know, there's something that goes a long way for the experience factor, though. We've been there. You look at a lot of the players on Eden Prairie's roster, they got that state championship last year. There's about three kids on the team that uh, weren't on that roster last year. Everybody else knows what it's like to be at the XL, knows what it's like to play in front of that crowd, and they're gonna fight like dogs to get there. Hopkins serving to start our fourth. Here's Will Hyde rolling it over and drops it into an open spot. One to nothing, Eagles. Now, if you're Hopkins, you have to kind of wipe away that bad memory and say, we were right there, we didn't get it, but we're going to do uh, just as much and work even that much harder to try and even things up here in the fourth. Karen Cross gets to it. Will Height denied by Reed. They'll come right back to Sarah. This time, tips over the block. Two zip. Will Height scores on back-to-back -back tips that drop in front of Swenson. 
She's hiding that so well. You gotta respect that hard driven shot down the line. Last second, drops that hand and away we go. Push deep here now. Swenson will get a swing at it and she puts it away. Chance to get her, you know, that's the thing. She's, uh, she would be very, one of the better hitters around if she wasn't setting too. So opportunities to get some swings for Swenson. You take them when you have a chance. Will Height off the tape and it's good. Will Height scoring at will there. I, knowing the court, knowing what her swing needs to look like in order to reach there. I don't think she tried to hit the tape, but she knew that line was open. More to serve here for Eden Prairie. Scoring Eagles, table difficulties. Yeah, Eagles subbing in and they're trying to make sure that they're got that recorded, okay. As Holstrand comes back in. Swenson to Reed, off hands. Score the point for Hopkins. Teal does a nice job of slowing that ball down. Uh, I don't think Erky expected it to go off the touch. She was kind of diving in to make that play instead of reacting off the block. Will Height attacking from the middle this time. Sarah Will Height rolling it over. Swenson recovers. Push to the corner. Cairn Cross giving up her body again there. Will Height pushing it around the block. Reed got it over. They scramble and get it off the net. Swenson this time dumping it, but dug up and put away there by Hallstrand after Moore with a tremendous dig. It's been a few years, but Moore and Swenson used to be teammates. She's seen that play once or twice. He's been there about four times today alone when Swenson tries to dump into the one. Will Height serving air there for the Eagles. Their lead back to a point now as Nora Reed will serve for Hopkins. Reed digging that one up. Cross court to Salisbury and just long. Karen Cross pulled those hands back just in time. Karen Cross had to look like she hoped it was out more than knew it was out yeah, there. I agree. It'll be Schultz serving here for Eden Prairie. I don't have the numbers on her from this year, but when she was a sophomore, she had this serving specialist role and didn't miss a serve the entire season. I'm going to say that earlier in the match, especially Schultz, it just seemed like good things happened when she was ser the server. Not necessarily that she was, you know, devastating them with aces left and right, but just more often than not, they win points when she serves. What you have happen is you have certain rotations where, you know, like when Will Height's in the front row, Will Height's going to score you some points. When she's on the back row, you got to have other options, and I think other athletes take those opportunities and say, okay, here's my chance. When you got Schultz serving, she puts a tough ball in. It makes it really difficult, pretty predictable for where Swenson's gonna have to set this ball. Good things will happen. Uh, most of your teams, especially in Eden Prairie, is gonna practice a lot defending the outside during the season. So if you get a situation where the ball has to go high and outside, that's where you're used to defending anyway. Good things happen when Schultz serves tough. We'll see what happens off this timeout. This is the Section 6 3A Volleyball Championship, the winner on to the state tournament. And in talking with the coaches, uh, Coach Becker said his personal opinion, of course, depending on, we've still got a few matches going on yet later today, but his personal opinion was that the winner of this would likely be the number three seed in the state tournament if uh, the other, other section finals go as anticipated. I agree with Coach Becker completely on that one. There we go, cross, kind of in that 5-6 seam. Schultz, who does a great job serving, isn't quite as dynamic laterally as Karen Cross, and we see the result there. 
Swenson serving here for Hopkins. Redmond missing cross court with that one. Royals back to within one. And Swenson will get an ace as it crawls over. Swenson's got that little jump float with a little hop to it here. They'll come to Swenson here off the net. Karen Cross gets to it. Salisbury, a good block there for Hopkins. Redman wiping that one off the block, and the Eagles go back in front now at 7 6. Intelligent move by Redmond there to see that block kind of going up a little early. She's going inside out on her approach and is able to go off the right hand. Reese serving here for Eden Prairie. And Will Height had that one off her hand. I think that ball might have been in it anyway, so. Nice cross court swing. Will Height not quite sure where she is on the court. Pulls her hand away late. Yeah, I agree with you. I think that ball's in. Seven all. Redmond trying to go down the line, but not real close with that one. And now Hopkins back in front. <laughs> Becker kind of giving a, hey, come on now. I'm sorry, the uh, point in Prairie there. Net violation, I believe. Karen Cross, good hand to keep that one alive. And a little miscommunication by Hopkins there. It's just a late start getting to that one. Two, get, two players going after it. Now a two point lead for Eden Prairie. And Erkey will serve. Quick middle that time, Schwartz putting it away off Moore's set, and Eden Prairie is rolling right now. A little bit of Hopkins' own medicine back at him there. Schwartz has taken that ball to the left back corner the last four times she swings. This time, Moore pushes it a little past her. She goes to the right back to score. Outside the Will Height off the blocker, and it crawls up the body of Poppy, and 11-7 now for Eden Prairie. And Cornish is backpedaling a little bit on that serve receive. Five-point lead, Eden Prairie. Hopkins in danger of this one, starting to get away from them a little bit. And that serve is too long. I guess I should learn my lesson before I say that after the last one. But again, you'll take that miss serve because the three before it were aggressive enough, and if she's not aggressive on the first three, she doesn't get that opportunity. Will Height off the block, and it'll land out. So Eagles quickly get a point back, 13-8. As Teal comes back into their lineup. Ellie Mogg into the lineup for Hopkins. And it's Swenson to Reed, and that usually spells trouble for the other team. 13-9, Eagles. Great pass, she's got all her options. Pushes that ball right on top of Moore. Uh, Reed's gonna win that battle block with Moore blocking quite often. Maddie Bellotto serving for Hopkins, down by four. They trail two games to one. Will Height pounds it home, 14-9. Will Height gets a great look at where the block is set up, has about five feet inside the sideline to hit before she's gonna run into Swenson's arm and uses it. Moore with the serve. Swenson to Reed here.
Moore with a mishandle there. So that point for the Royals, and Ingrid Werner will serve now for Hopkins. And an overpass there, Salisbury sweeping it home for Hopkins. Royals back to within three. But not anymore as that serve is too long now, 15-11. Eden Ferry puts Wilhite in the back row here, Redmond back into the front row. Need to make sure if you're Hopkins, you're playing smart volleyball at this point. Swenson to Reed and she delivers. They quickly get the point back, 15-12. There's that set again. It's not quite a B right next to Swenson, but it's not a 31 over in front of the right side blocker for Eden Prairie. That's a tough ball to get two blockers on. And an ace there for Reed. 15-13. Will a little slow getting up. She had run into some injuries earlier in the year. Uh, they thought she was healthy. Salisbury the block. Hopkins closing the gap in a hurry now, 15-14. It was a few weeks ago at Eastview, she uh, rolled her ankle, first time ankle injury for Wilhite, and kind of coming off of that, still a little tender possibly. Hancock barely getting to that one. Net violation on Eden Prairie. And we are even up. Coach Becker telling his players to just calm down, play volleyball. Hopkins has all the momentum right now. Copy's unstoppable in the middle when she gets available. Reed to Swenson. Tried to go deep corner with that one, but too strong. And even hurry back in front. Check that, we have a point to Hopkins as Eden Prairie was in the net. All right. Timeout, Eden Prairie. So Hopkins back in front now is net violation. Getting a situation where everything starts going right for one team, has to start going wrong for the other team. I can't say it enough. This has been an absolutely entertaining match to watch. Uh, even if you have a favorite, you like seeing the other time doing some really nice things. Uh, Hopkins playing hard, playing fast, getting their middles involved. The pin hitters are doing a great job of scoring when given opportunities. Eden Prairie, all hustle, all the time, taking big swings when the opportunity presents itself and putting the ball in play when they're not in a position to take that big swing. Great, well-coached fundamentals on both sides of the net. It's November, it's winter go home. That's why we're here. Royals with a one point lead as they will serve. Nora Reed. And a late decision there. Karen Cross. That ball was in and couldn't decide and it ends up being a point for the Royals. Similar one there and this time Karen Cross lets it go. 17-16. Reed with a nice service run there. Putting pressure on Eden Prairie for a few points. Karen Cross gonna step out here while Schultz serves and kind of get herself relaxed. We'll see how she comes in off this. up there by Schultz. Here's Redman. Eagles with some effort, but not gonna be able to get to this one, and Hopkins back up by two. I was fortunate enough to coach Reed during the club season this past year, and we kept stats, and we were about 95%. If Reed dug a ball, we won the point. Shows true there again. There's something about that kid. Every time she digs, it leads to a point.
Back to Swenson. Will Hyde able to dig that one up. Great effort to keep it alive, but Eden Prairie will ultimately take the point. They're to within one. Here's Maddie Reese to serve, one of the captains for Eden Prairie. Down the line and put away. Coffey delivering two-point Royals lead. Cornish to serve up 19-17. Redmond rolling it to the middle. Net violation against Eden Prairie. Hopkins, 220. Poppy's got one, one speed when she gets set on that quick ball. She's all out all the time. It's been working pretty well for her. Cross court goes Redmond. Cornish digs it up. Swenson sending it over, but wide. And Eden Prairie to within two. Erkey to serve now for the Eagles. Ball just long. And the Eagles now close the gap further to a single point. Swenson debating the timeout. Trust her team to side out on this ball. They'll come to Will Height. And Hopkins cannot dig that one up. 20 to 20. And there's the timeout by Vicky right there. 20 all. Eden Prairie leading two games to one. And they have now battled back to tie things up here in this fourth set. This Eden Prairie team just refuses to lose. Uh, that's two sets in a row now where they were down. It looked like everything was going against them. Senior leadership steps in, says, hey, just do what we did to get to this point. Great things will happen. And here we sit tied 20-20 after Eden Prairie was down about four or five points earlier in the set. And on the flip side of that, if you saw the opening set, you would have said Hopkins doesn't stand a great chance to, to in this match, but they battled back after really uh, kind of a jittery start for them, it, it felt like. And, uh, you know, you lose 25-16. In, in this caliber of match, in this caliber of matchup, that's a fairly big margin, but they were able to, to plug that off. See if the timeout put the uh, freeze on Erky at all here, or if she's able to continue her strong serving. And there's the student section volume we've been waiting for. Blocked, and then it goes off of Werner, and Eden Prairie in front by a point. Warner goes up, she's gonna go try and use that block. Moore does a great job of bringing her right hand right back in. And not quite able to close the block in time with Schwartz, and Hopkins evens it up. Reed back into the front row for Hopkins here. Will Height able to put that one away as it glances off of Swenson's arm. 22-21, EP. Again, Will Height seeing that seam, making Swenson move to her left. That's a tough play. Karen Cross serving for the Eagles. A scramble to get to it. Can they react? No. Will Height will get the kill. Pretty good job by Moore there to get a, a decent pass over to Wilhite there. Obviously, she wasn't able to, to set the ball, but 
put it in a pretty good spot where she could still do something with it. And there's Reed delivering for Hopkins. There to within a point. Going back to that last point, you brought up a good point. More able to take an out of system ball and give Wilhite something productive to do. That's what you got to do out of system. Sarah Wilhite off the block, but the Royals slow it down. Nice dig by Erkey. Wilhite off the block and gets the kill. 24 22. Eden Prairie now a point away from State. Moore, the sophomore, back to serve in about her fourth start of the season, I think. Eagles trying to put it away. And Karen Krauss lunging, couldn't quite get it. Might have possibly been out, but you couldn't take that chance. People following this match on Twitter and Facebook know that Wilhite is getting this ball. Here's Sarah Wilhite, and there it is. Eden Prairie prevails here in the fourth set, 25 to 23. This one was about as good as it gets, and the Eagles able to get it done in these close third and fourth sets that could have gone either way. Wilhite on a two ball, there's a triple block. She goes right over Salisbury into that deep corner. That's a great swing by Wilhite. You gotta give a hand to the Hopkins Royals though for fighting as hard as they did all four sets. First set looked like they were way outmatched, came back in set two and kind of put a whooping on Eden Prairie in sets three and four. Great volleyball on both sides. None of these players should hang their heads. That's great volleyball. It's a shame somebody has to lose in a match like that. Uh, good luck to the Eden Prairie Eagles as they go on to state. Congratulations to the Hopkins Royals as they uh, take second in one of the toughest sections, if not the toughest section in the state. Yeah, 27 victory season for Hopkins, and it ends just short of their goal. Eden Prairie will be back to defend their title in Class 3A. We hope you've enjoyed tonight's match, and it's certainly been one of the better volleyball matches we've had on over the years here on 12 Sports. Eden Prairie over Hopkins in four. So the Eagles claim the Section 6-3A championship. Randy Gugusberg and all of our 12 Sports crew, I'm Jay Wilcox. So long from Benilde St. Margaret's. Yeah.